It is the late morning hours here on Thursday, July 18th, 2013. Well, today we are continuing to watch Cimarron, but also our super swirl off there into the western Pacific, northeast of Luzon. It's still there. And, well, this has now been dubbed Infest 95W. I'm starting off with this because it is quite an interesting feature. We're continuing to keep an eye on it. It's, it's very well not going to develop into anything at all, except maybe if it does somehow make it somewhere over here, some gusty winds, but um, still quite interesting, and if you look closely at it, it's a very well-defined center of circulation. I think that's why NRL upgraded it to an invest, even though it is just so extremely small, but uh, uh, very, very interesting. We're going to continue to keep an eye on it. Very likely, what's going to happen, this is moving faster than Cimarron at this time. Uh, it's likely going to catch up and get sucked into it like a black hole and just get totally tearing apart. So we're going to continue to watch that throughout the day. Main topic today, Cimarron. That's the storm. Already bringing some heavy rainfall across Taiwan. And some reports out here indicating about 100 millimeters in the past 24 hours, especially along the southeastern coast. This is the latest radar out of the air. And then the daily accumulated rainfall in the past 24 hours, like I said, mainly on the southeastern coast. The west coast not seeing so much, mainly because we have that rainfall coming on shore from the southeast. What we saw with Solik, the storm moved off here towards the north. We had the winds wrapping around the northern periphery and came ashore, and this is where we saw the heaviest rainfall. Actually, where the rain is coming from Cimarron here, uh, during Solik, you really didn't even see that much in these locations. It's because of the mountains and how big of a role they play on the rainfall across time. Now, Cimarron still has winds about 40, gusting up to 50 knots, at least according to the Japan Meteorological Agency. Still pulling off here towards the northwest, expected to make a landfall uh, going into Friday morning. It is moving quite fast. But what we also are seeing is a new tropical depression down here towards the south. We're going to get on that in just a second here as well. And what we can see here with the enhanced IR is the bulk of the convection is off there towards Taiwan. The southwestern periphery, uh, not seeing so much here. Let's pull up the viz slash SWIR. Um, yeah, you can really see the center of circulation, even some outflow flowing around here on the southern periphery. Take a look at the wind shear. It indicates that you have that wind shear continuing to push through here upwards about 30 to 20 knots, and that's why we're seeing the bulk of the convection on the northeastern periphery at this time. Still sea surface temperatures out here support a tropical system. That's not a problem either, but uh, the good news, and thankfully for southeastern uh, China here, including in the Fujian around Fuzhou, where we saw Solit come ashore, this isn't going to be making landfall as a very strong system, but it is still going to drop a uh, heavy amount of rainfall. So with that said, let's take a look at the track here. First pulling up our tropical storm, Cimarron, winds 40, gusting up to 60 knots, pressure about 1,000 HPA, so it did go down just a little bit. Um, even expected a slightly intensify uh, the 998 here in the next 12 hours before weakening out as it does make landfall uh, there into southeastern China. Really, that is a track from JMA. There's not much to uh, argue here, but just for... Uh, purposes of looking at this. Let's take a look at the HKO and see what they also are saying. With a very similar track output, a little bit farther there towards the southwest, but uh, nothing too much different here from the Hong Kong Observatory. I'm showing it this one, uh, Vice JWC, because Hong Kong is much closer and it's much more relevant out here. Now there are tropical storm system out here, well, tropical depression, tropical depression B, also known as Invest 94W. Um, this is uh, extremely disorganized, winds about 30, gusting up to 45 knots. JMA does expect to become a tropical storm. I don't see it in the near future, but it, it could be a weak tropical storm. But the same wind shear that's currently battering Cimarron right now is going to be affecting this area as well. But regardless, this is expected to start to pull off there towards the north, and then eventually north-northwest around Hanan. Um, eastern portions of Vietnam very well could get some rainfall out of this as well. So we have, well... Invest 94W or a tropical depression here now. That's going to be tracking in this direction. Cimarron tracking in that direction as well. Basically moving out here towards the rainy season front. You have the high pressure ridge over here. So they're running along the western periphery of that. And tr tropical super swirl out here. Actually, you can barely see it on the uh, infrared imagery because most of the low-lying clouds aren't picked up by the, uh, the colder cloud tops here. But that is all for right now, everybody. I'm going to leave you with the 72-hour rainfall accumulation. This is is much uh, a better image to show you than actually looping through the models right now because this is going to show you where the bulk of the heaviest rainfall is. Southeastern China, 
Um, the Philippines, you're starting to see an easing off of the rain, despite the fact you saw some pretty heavy stuff there in northern Luzon yesterday. Um, also, into central and northeastern China, we still have the rainy season front we're continuing to deal with here, and that in itself is not tropical, it's seasonal, but... It has been absolutely terrible this year. Sichuan province still continues to see flooding and mudslides out there towards the west. Also in Taiwan, I know we're not talking about it all so much, but the southwest monsoon out here for you is really coming in hard. Um, and it has been causing some well, heavy showers and downpours. Also very seasonal, but... Um, with this development of that new low pressure area, that new tropical depression there into the South China Sea, wouldn't be surprised if this even gets enhanced up some more. Uh, so really, over the, even over towards Burma, it looks like some heavy rainfall in your forecast. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, don't forget to check out our other videos. I'm going to put them down in the link description below from our other authors. We have Weathercaster Pat and Mike Attic out here. Also, um, James Reynolds just shot some pretty incredible footage out of Typhoon Solik. So please go check out everything else we are doing here at westernpacificweather.com. Thanks for watching.